Okay, hi friends. This is the second video of the melting the crayons. I had to, I didn't have my hot glue gun like I was saying before, so I had to use regular glue and I had to let it sit overnight. So I, my crayons, I'm holding it up. I'm doing the test to see if the glue is working and it is working. And you're going to be doing this with a mom, dad, or older sibling. Because a blow dryer can get very hot and it could hurt you if you don't use it properly. Ready? Did it shoot up on you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop it there because I like doing it in an open space. And since I, I don't have a lot of room right now, and it was starting to spread all over, some got on Maria. You okay? <laughs> so let me show my friends. Serious. We use the hot heat from the blow dryer to melt the crayons. Let me see, Mom. Thumbs up if you like that. I that on my sticks. We use the hot air from the blow dryer to melt the crayons. And if I was in an open space or outside, I would go longer and I would melt the cray crayons even smaller. And I am going to go hang this on my refrigerator. And if you make one of these, feel free to email me or text me a picture. Remember, you need crayons with the paper taken off, a blow dryer, and if mom and dad has a hot glue gun, they can glue the crayons on any colors of the rainbow you want. I picked red, green, and pink. And um, if you don't have a hot glue gun, just use regular glue and let it sit for a night or two, okay? Okay, I can't wait to see if you make it. See all my friends later.